Hi there, Lord JEG here, and we're here with the generator, part three. As you can tell, it's a little windy today, and of course, being Vegas, it's hot as balls, so, you know. So, I'm going to be working in a convection oven, so we'll see how it goes. Follow along. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to build sub-assemblies. So, whenever you get the chance, after you take something apart, when you put it back together, that's what you want to do. Is rebuild the sub-assemblies. Sub-assembly by sub-assembly. And that way, when everything goes together, you all have done it right. So follow along. See, there's my first mistake. I should have put this through the hook first, but I didn't. That's why you don't do the final tightening until you have to. So that way, it gives you plenty of room, plenty of time to make a mistake. Because you will make a mistake at some point. And that's okay. Let me put that off to the side for a minute. Okay. Well, we got the carburetor self-assembly mostly done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fit up the fuel pump because it's a different design. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to mount it up nice and make everything uh, work good. So, that way. Guess we're pretty much limited to that, which is fine. When you can, you should put everything in a bag and mark it. That way, you don't have extra parts or lost parts. So, just a pro tip. Ask me how I know. And there's our first problem. <laughs> oh, it's a different design and it is way way different as far as where it'll fit on here so so we'll have to bodge that up um, so yeah Give me a minute and we'll try out a solution. Well, as you can clearly see, I put the carburetor back on because I have to get an idea of what I'm doing, where everything's going to go. So. best way to mount it would be this way then I need spacers unless I can mount it to the back of the air cleaner assembly the air filter assembly so which may be a viable option we'll have to see we'll have to see I don't know Just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm up against here. So, this is the output. We'll put the 
We'll put the clamps on in a minute, but just so I can run things around and kind of see how they should work. So I'll probably wind up having to put it somewhere around here in order for it to really work. I could mount it up higher, have everything run over, which, you know, may work if I have to. If I have to do it, I'll do it that way. I'd prefer not to, though. You know, output is going to come about like this. So that's how that's going to run into the carburetor. Um, so, so we'll have to mess with a little bit here and there and see, see just exactly how it's going to fit. So, so we'll fiddle with that a little, see what happens. Okay, well, after lots of futzing around, trying to figure out what's going on. I have a pretty good idea of where it's going to go. There's really, I mean, there's a couple spots it could go, but probably the best one is right about here. So, I had to go to the hardware store, get some spacers. We're going to... We're going to punch and drill. And with a little luck, get this thing mounted so we can get on with our lives. All right. These are transfer punches, by the way. Uh, most of you probably already know that, but in case you don't, you always want to punch before you drill just to uh, just make sure so your drill bit doesn't go wandering around. Okay, and put the air filter on, make sure that that's right, if it's not right, I will throw things down and yell and stomp around in frustration. Nope, looks like that's going to work, yay me, alright, good, I love it when a plane comes together, when it took an extra two or three hours, you know. Which sometimes isn't that bad. Sometimes that's just not bad at all. Okay, take a few minutes to find some starting fluid, and then we'll uh, give her a shot, see what happens. Got it to run. Um, basically, it wasn't getting spark, so I traced the wires. Let me turn the phone around here. I traced the wires, and what happens is, is that these have a low oil uh, shutoff. So the oil shutoff was bad. So once I disconnected that, it was fine. And then you, you can still use the switch to turn the engine on or off to cut the ignition. So then uh, I had some old gas in a container. It really didn't like that. It wasn't working well with that. So I put new gas in it. Put new gas in it. 
pretty much started right up. So, but you know, there's the old saying picks or it didn't happen. So, give me a second. Now, obviously the project isn't done. Um, still got to tune the carburetor, get that all adjusted, get it put back together, and uh, generally, you know, just uh, there's some bits and bobs that need handled. But we're going to call that complete for now. So, uh, for the intents of this video, that's it. Thanks for swinging by. Take care.